to just leave in Digby Island. It's been pretty gusty all night, so I'm hoping that it's a little bit better out there. But there's Pacific Star. things are ships and all those little circles are where the ships that's their like little anchorage area oh she's pretty rough out here wow she goes back up your right over babe no it's for you it's for me me i need a life jacket on the phone i'll get one you're gonna have to tie me on to catch a tuna today. I hope they still do. But um, I think we caught we caught their tuna. Sorry guys. And the sea state out there is pretty rough. Yeah. I'm really glad we're going with it. But the the um the waves are pretty huge. Like look at that. It's always hard to tell how big the waves are with the camera. They are nearly fell over. Just put it on. Just put it on. Dinner. Yeah. Oh, wow, look at that. Wow, there's like a wave breaking in the background there. We made it to School Fell Island. It's finally calm around here around to the anchorage and it'll be nice and calm. Don't do that. 
out again. <laughs> you just made the engines yeah. drop out. <laughs> you didn't even touch it. <laughs> scared Vinny. Scared Vinny, scared the engine. <laughs> but not Sailor. Sailor's a, a confident boat dog now, aren't you, Sailor? Fisher. Don't you want to dive and get crayfish? And spear and get fish? But, but, but I'm Ren. You are Ren. But would you like to be Ren that dives into the water and holds your breath for a long time? Yeah. Yeah. With a spear. With a spear. With a little one. A little one. Okay, ready? I've already so got close that your eyes. Feel your breath. Just close your eyes. Just focus on your breath. Yeah, just focus on how it feels when it goes in and out. Mm. Uh, oh, oh, that's okay. Four-year-olds just starting the engines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep. Good job. <coughs> Heading off to Brampton Island this morning. Yeah, school fell has been nice. Yeah, been Water's here. Water's been a little bit murky yep. for swimming. Yeah, a bit cold as well. But. Been here three days now. Dion had some work meetings he needed to do. And it's been very nice here at Scorefell. So Scorefell has two moorings in this eastern bay. So one here and one just over there where our friends were. But this place is amazing but very notorious for wind bullets. They just come up over the hill. And I reckon this place has its own like weather system here because there's just always random like rain and stuff coming through. This is what we usually have to do to prepare if it's going to be a bit rough. This little sink thing fits perfectly in the lip of our sink, so that's awesome. It just locks, locks in place. And then we put kind of anything like on our little grippy boards, little kettle. We close up our stove. I put any toys like on the couch or something because sometimes it rolls around on the table. Ren, where's your clothes this morning, bud? Do you want me to get you some clothes? No. No. Got a Beep. squealing child and a faulty something going on with our engine. He's dropping revs on our port side. Anyway, he's dropping revs on our port side. <laughs> when it's rough, Dion puts his life jacket on. Because when you go up the front, and if you fall out, it could be a considerable amount of time before we retrieve him from the water. So, and when it's rough, it's like it's very dangerous. She's only just leaving the bay, and it's already a bit rocky. See, look at Scorefell. It's even got its rain own clouds over there along the mountain. Bit of hobby horsing here this morning. When our boat goes like this, woo, woo, woo. Huh. yeah. So we're just deciding what to do with the sails. We've got an issue that it keeps gusting up, and um, but then it drops off again, and then we go too slow. What do you think of the sails? Well, we're in this annoying position where we've got just the jib out. Just stuck to probably 20, just over 20 knots. Whoa! Um, and so we're going to slow, really, for my liking. And yeah. when Vinny's sick, you just or Billy sick, you just want to get there. And but the wind's too strong. Put our next biggest sail out. It's so we have a screecher, which is like the head sail, but much bigger, and it's very hard to furl in if the wind gets crazy. 
or we could buy the, the um, skinny gun, but it's also... It's a light wind sail, yeah, so if it gusts... Yeah, like it's quite, quite probably would tear it, especially if the boat stops and it gets away. Yeah. So anyway, we're just stuck in the middle really, and we might just have to just suck it up. We're still doing four and a half knots on average, oh, yeah. but sometimes it drops down for like three and a half and then it's just... Probably going up a wave. We're heading to an island up here and like have a look at the clouds that are up here. It's pretty, pretty rough at the moment. And yeah, we're going too slow, the swell is side on. It's not very comfortable. It's only 20 nautical miles, which if we average at about five knots in speed, we'll get there in about four hours. But um, we're going a bit slower, so it's gonna be longer. So we're deciding to give the Screecher a try with the jib out as well. So literally, as we decide to put the Screecher out, it starts blowing up and we're now doing five knots, so. I think we're just gonna have to suck it up and keep the sails we have out at the moment. We've got a seasick baby in there. So, just decided to turn the engines on. We get there, we're getting a little bit more pace. Just with the jib out. And, yeah, we're on our way. we're staying at no just kidding it's an abandoned re resort except for this prime location with the caretaker's house he's got it got it good but yeah apparently it was abandoned there was a cyclone that came through it still looks in pretty good condition though I reckon a bit of money and this would be up and running pretty quickly but we're just stopping by the luxury pool and the pool has fish in it and there are coconuts in the pool. Co and why is there coconuts in the pool, Zara? I don't want coconuts in the pool. Ah, oh, was it, Vinny? Yeah. <laughs> I've just been informed the blue tiger it's butterfly awesome. is what we've got to look out for today. And this is the walk. We're anchored just here. Oh no, just there, sorry. And we're going to walk up here. When's it ready in the carrier bay? Yeah. All right, we're over halfway. I got sweat everywhere. It's pretty steep. Vinny's still going strong. Ren only walked on the beach. Josh is carrying this little smiley baby. Oh. Hey, go on, I'm gonna call you hiking Barbie. <sighs> Yeah. You should do a spear, it'd be good for my video.